like buying clothes, just it's a lot more fun if you buy them less because the novelty of shopping becomes more exciting and if you're kind of feeding into buying fast fashion all the time, the thrill of shopping almost becomes diminished and it just becomes almost like a habit. Welcome to my channel, I'm Jess. If you enjoy shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll really love it. I am having a Camberwell market stall tomorrow, so I've just been cleaning and trying to declutter my wardrobe. And today I wanted to talk about maybe why you should consider buying less fast fashion because it's definitely been an eye opener for me. Guys, this is what I decluttered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight garbage bags. Some more coats and bags in there not designer bags guys just random stuff i've had and even this whole suitcase is filled with clothes so there's no way i'm gonna be able to sell all these things so it just means that it's definitely there's gonna be a few things that I have, i'm gonna have to donate or i'm gonna have to just keep and then sell in another market store maybe in the future it's not actually easy to book um the Camberwell market stall um it's kind of a by chance thing uh, there was one slot open and my boyfriend booked it so we're sharing a market stall um and it's just really annoying to have these like excess of clothing just hanging around like this fast fashion is so accessible that you could just keep buying things like you know thirty dollars here sixty dollars here thirty dollars here and by the time you know it by the end of the year you would have accumulated a lot of things and we have to be honest with ourselves, guys. Like, there is only so many days in the week and times where we can wear, you know, our clothes. I have, um, you know, only a few days off in the week where I can wear my casual clothes. And so buying clothes every week from, say, Zara is just not going to be worth it for me because I'm just going to have a whole lot of stuff accumulating in my, my wardrobe, which, yeah, this is what has happened. So, guys, I wanted to expose myself and show you my current wardrobe i still have this many jeans i don't know and I actually online i ordered another two pairs guys so like i don't know what i'm doing with my jeans there for some reason i'm obsessed with jeans anyway then i have my black coats um i've kept i have my mq alexander mcqueen i've got some leather jackets this is like a a top shop um marcus almeida collab i have shrimps jackets i have like a cos blazer this is celeron actually this one i also got this one this is like a really cool biker jacket burberry uh this is like a celine leather jacket i got some more blazers here a few skirts i've got my gray kind of area <laughs> I don't know, this is like not really cool anymore, this Saint Laurent, um, it's like a bomber jacket style, but I don't know, I want to keep it because it's expensive. I have some other blue section back here, and then I go into my white section, which I've been really obsessed with this like puffer vest look lately, so I've got one of those, and this is Zara, this little fluffy thing, but I did declutter another Zara fluffy kind of jacket I had, I'll show you guys, it's so hard to pull anything out of here, this is just... Oh, and I put a scarf on it. That's really funny. It's a little, little cherry scarf. Just like a fluffy jacket. Um, and then I have some more, like, camel kind of colours here. That's a Burberry duffel coat. I have this Burberry trench, which I got off eBay, which I still haven't worn. Like, I'm just all about finding good deals, but then, I, you know, it's kind of important to wear it because otherwise it's just taking up space. And I don't have that much space, guys. Like, and then, oh, don't even get me started on my jumpers. Oh, like, how do I declutter this? I did delete quite a few, but I just have so many cute ones. And I, I should have folded this better, guys. It's kind of embarrassing, but... Like, I love this rainbow one here, and I'm a big fan of, the, like, the fluffy kind of styles that I have. Uh, I'm a real big fan of, like, Acne Studios. I love Shaq Fancy. And I even have, like, a French label that's Rouge. Um, that one's really cute, too. I really like that one. I even have more of it. Oh, my God, guys. See, I've, this little thing here is, like, a set from Zara. I've been buying a few Zara things lately, but I just have to stop myself because, 
like it's just taking up too much room and then oh guys look at this poor frank bag i can't throw that out should i i don't know there's some things that i just can't delete from my life adds up over time it's not good for your bank account and um it's kind of like makes you not thankful for what you already have and utilize what you already have in your wardrobe and it becomes quite wasteful and i think yeah that's also a thing and guys in terms of shoes i'm trying to delete a few more but these are just really cute number three guys i think emotionally it's pretty draining having to keep up with fashion all the time and always feel like you need something new i i suffer from this all the time and i feel like it can become an addiction shopping and um you know first world problems i probably have a shopping addiction um and i think you know buying fast fashion is only contributing to that and i feel like buying clothes um it just is a lot more fun if you buy them less because the novelty of shopping becomes more exciting and if you're kind of feeding into buying fast fashion all the time the thrill of shopping almost becomes diminished and it just becomes almost like a habit which is a little bit self-destructive and definitely something that I've fallen into. I do have a few bags at the consignment store at the moment but this is my current collection of handbags um so I did kind of delete quite a few there is a special one back here whoa whoa whoa, whoa. and I do have like some more Louis Vuitton ones down here Saint Laurent this one I actually got from my old work when I worked at Armani <laughs> that was just like a Christmas present and I have a lot of shoes as well that uh, I did I have been decoloring these shoes over a few years I'm obviously a big fan of ankle boots uh, yeah it's a problem so yeah at the market I'm probably not going to sell any shoes because I just have so many clothes for now and they just they're a bit like hard to carry the shoes are quite heavy so and I don't know what I'm, I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to shoes like clothes I'm easier to just get rid of but oh, shoes oh it's hard same with designer bags guys I would never sell designer bags at the market those are things that I have to sell kind of to my friends or a consignment store or something um yeah but I did delete quite a few this year um, and I did introduce um, these two uh, new ones from this year and uh, that one back there. But yeah, I really, these ones I don't think I'll ever sell. They're really cute. Like, especially, oh, yeah, the Chanel 19 so dreamy. I put this fluffy thing on it myself, but yeah, I just think it makes it a bit more interesting. Obviously, the quality is better. You're going to look probably a lot more impressive if you're wearing something that is of, you know, maybe a designer label or even, um, you know, just better made. Fast fashion is, it can be well made, um, but, you know, a lot of it is hit and miss. So you're almost worth skipping it completely and just saving up for a very special, you know, a Burberry coat or, you know, something like that, for example, instead of buying fast fashion that being said guys i think if you're getting like a plain white t-shirt you don't have to get a plain white t-shirt from you know seller on you can go for uniqlo that's totally fine it's definitely depending on the item but i think in terms of trends try and like stay true to your own style and not get sucked into buying new things every week like you know the new sweater vest or like you know sherpa jackets and that sort of thing some of these things are kind of you know they've been things that been have been around for a while but there are some really obvious trends that um yeah just try and maybe really consider if you need to buy into them because there is just too many trends to keep up with basically and i i'm really excited by fashion and always want to you know buy the latest things so yeah, you'll end up just having too much stuff like me and it's you have to deal with getting rid of it. And yeah, I don't know if you want to do that. It's not something that I particularly find, um, you know, easy to do. It takes a lot of organization. And at the end of the day, I've lost a lot of money as well. As a sustainable point of view, I think buying and, you know, donating stuff quite frequently is actually not that sustainable. A lot of things that get put into thrift stores while well, I know in Australia get actually thrown out and you know it goes into landfills so 
I mean, by individually not buying as many things, you're not going to be throwing out as much as well. And yeah, there's going to be less waste in your house. And I guess, yeah, with the environment as well, there's going to be less things being thrown out. And I guess if less of us support fast fashion and, you know, that sort of thing, fashion may become slower in the future and even better made. I don't know about this completely, but the fact that we're all still constantly buying fast fashion is just making these kind of labels really, um, you know, make shortcuts in quality and, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to just impact us and we're going to be left with all this crap. So, yeah, I mean, I am actually going to be receiving a Uniqlo U order very soon, which I am very much reconsidering because Uniqlo is, in a way, a fast fashion brand. Their things kind of consist of more basic like necessities though, which is why I own a lot of heat tech and basic t-shirts from Uniqlo, which I do honestly wear a lot. So for me, they're worth it. But I did buy stuff from the Uniqlo U range, which is a little bit more trend driven, but I'm just reconsidering my purchases to be honest, because you can see how much waste I have. And I'm thinking in like, you know, another two years, is this Uniqlo U haul just gonna end up at the market store? Like, it very may well, very much may well end up in the market store. That was a long sentence. <laughs> anyway, um, just wanted to do a random video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I wasn't really talking much about handbags, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.